I'm like flabbergasted. I cannot believe it myself. It was giving me Duolingo PTSD flashbacks. All the opinions are mine. Don't judge me like I judge these books. This outfit kind of gives Zenon of the 21st century and I love that. Do you think it does? Because I think it does. <laughs> to the mid-ear freakout tag where I basically talk about all the books, well, the best books and the worst books and give you an overview of the last six months, six and a bit, because I am filming this in July. I am a little bit late, but I'm still filming this in the summer, so good job me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this will be very fun. By the way, my name is Daniela, for those who are new here, and for those who are not, it's nice to see you again. So. Let's get into it and talk about the best books and the worst books and kind of where I am with my reading goals. So this will be fun. Let's do it. First, I think we'll go to the statistics. Well, kind of the statistics. Um, this is my reading journal. For those who do not know, I have a video on it, but I will film at some point an updated version. Um, this is my reading tracker, as you can see. I've been doing such a good job, usually I just kind of abandon them in like at the beginning, but this time I stuck to it because it was so much fun. Uh, just reading and writing it down, it motivated me a lot, so I did a really good job. So far I have read 52 books. 52 books! Can you believe that? And it's just July, I'm like flabbergasted. I cannot believe it myself. It's insane. 52 books. I'm so proud of myself. I just, I've never read this much by this time. So, so proud of myself. So let's go through the goals. Basically, my plans are here. I can put a picture if you want, but I have a video on it. You can check it out. Um, so, so far, my reading goals were to read 52 books a year, which is one for each week of the year, which I have done. I cannot believe it. I already finished it. It's insane, but I ticked it off. Um, then I have to complete the book bingo or 75% of it. And if I think of it as 75% of it, I completed it. But I do want to go the whole bingo and this is it. I still have uh, very few white spaces in there that I want to fill in. Um, like a book mentioned in Gilmore Girls, or a title includes words strange, like I fully believe I can do, like finish this thing. I still have 14 of these white spaces, and in all fairness, a lot of books check multiple things, so I can do it. I got this. It's just July, so I definitely am going to complete this. Then my next goal is to not buy any books this year, and so far so good, I haven't bought a single book this year, which is fantastic. I can't believe I did that, but good job me again. Um, after that, I have read the 12 months book. So far, I am fully on track. I have read every single book, like monthly book, uh, until June. I still have to read the July book, but again, it is July, so I want to finish it, um, well, start and finish it by the end of July. I, I should get a grip on and actually start reading it because it's a thick book, but I can do this. And after that, um, I'll have these here, which are my, the rest of my mystery books. And I think I, I'll be able to do it. Like, I genuinely think I will be able to complete that. And that is fantastic news. So proud of myself. Ah, uh, uh, then the next one is to read a hundred books. So I said that if and if I manage to finish 52 books, I'll try to read a hundred, but that's like a secondary goal. And now that I have finished it, I am fully like pumped up to actually read a hundred. I'm just so excited. Um, and then um, my last goal was to finish all the leftover started books. Now this, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to finish <laughs> because a lot of the books are very long. Like I have Moby Dick, I have uh, David Copperfield, and 
This is a thick book, it doesn't look like it, but the writing is minuscule and the story itself is so boring. It just drags and drags and drags. So I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. I did read uh, Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell, All Creatures Great and Small by Jane Terriot and Why Don't Penguins Feed Freeze by Mick O'Hare. So that's basically three out of the 12 read. I think there were 12. Um, but I still have quite a bit, I'm just... I'm not sure that I'll manage to finish it. And if I don't, that's perfectly fine. Like, I'm so happy with the progress I've done this year so far that I don't care, like, I don't care at all. Um, as for my personal library, as you can see, I did so well. Um, I love seeing it filled in with the books I read from the ones I already have, because I have a lot of them. It's like over 200, well, over 100 something. Um, so there's a lot of books I still have to go through. Um, and here we have my 100 book challenge. I'm more than halfway through because I read 52 and I'm just so proud of myself. So that was a quick recap of my reading journal. I also have my story graph I want to update you on. So basically on story graph, I'm not on Goodreads, but I love story graph. And here I set reading goals for the year. So as you can see, I set uh, finish 52 books this year and read uh, uh, 10,000 pages this year again and I read both of them like and can you see that I fulfilled both of them also at the start of the year I turned on the streak option so you have to read one page or listen to one minute every day um, and I had that and I was going so well like so well but after that it just I felt like it was pressuring me, like I had it at the back of my mind that I have to read a page today, I have to do something and I just, it wasn't for me, it just, it was, it was giving me Duolingo PTSD flashbacks and I did not want that so I turned it off and some days there are in my, like in my reading journal, I just color it in red which means I haven't read a page that day because I don't want to force it, some days I don't read anything, others I finish a book, it just, it's what works best for me and I feel like that's the goal to find what works best for you and um, yeah that was it now that I've finished yapping um, let me show you all the five star books of the year and then all the books that I absolutely hated so let's start with the good part all the five stars book of the year and I'm just going to go through them I'm not going to talk about them because I have multiple videos where I talk about all of these so you can check them out and also I take so long to explain everything that this video would never finish so let's go through them um these are in chronological order by the way just just so you know <laughs> the first five star of the year was one day by david nichols absolutely loved every single book that i'm going to tell you about the next five star was Omen by Won kyung so uh and this was translated uh from korean by sandy yusung gui this was the second five stars. Then this was one of the books from my, the books I wanted to finish. This is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. And again, brilliant book. I love this so much. I cried so much at this book. It's just ridiculous, but it's such a good book. I fully recommend every single book from the five stars category because personally I adored them. It was so good. Next, another one of those books that I wanted to finish last year uh, is James Harriet, All Creatures Great and Small. Um, again, a very packed book. Like, look at this writing. It's tiny, even if you can't see it, but the way the story is, the way the narration goes, the just the charm of the main character, fully recommend. There's also a TV show, I believe, so if you don't want to read the book, watch the TV show. I haven't watched it, I can't tell you anything about it, but I love this. Then we have Heaven's Official Blessing by Mokjang Tongsu and Tiang Wan Chifu. My number one OTP, like 100%. <laughs> I love them so much, the main characters, and the art in this book is stunning. Look at this. Do you see that? It's just beautiful such a beautiful art the story progression the plot loved everything about it so 
another five star. Then I have The Famous Five by uh, Enid Blyton. This was the mystery book of May. Um, also One Day was the mystery book of January. Um, and I love this. I've never read an Enid Blyton book for The Famous Five. This is Five on a Hike Together, by the way. And again, fantastic. It gave me Scooby-Doo vibes and fully recommend. Like, I keep saying that, but I promise I loved every single one of them. Please check them out. Then there's Moby Dick, a pop-up book by Sam Ita. Um, this is basically the extremely compressed story of Moby Dick by Herman Melville, but it's just in pop-up format. Can you see that? Like, how fantastic is this? There's one with a whale where they... Can you see that? Oh my god. It's like the best book ever and I gave this a 5 star purely for entertainment value. Um, the story was so compressed that you couldn't really get anything from it. Um, but just the execution of this book, it left me stunned. Like definitely one of the most beautiful books I have. Definitely a contender. So this was the pop-up book. Just to spice things up a bit, not just novels. Um, I do recommend you check this out, even just like to stare at it. It's, it's, the staring value is through the roof with this book. Loved it. After that, we have Lorelei's Secret by Carolyn Parkhurst. Uh, this book is, was published as Dogs of Babel in the US and I'm glad I got it as the uh, Lorelei Secret because it just makes more sense. It's far better title for this book. So also look at the cover. I will never shut up about how much I love this cover. Let's go to the next book. <laughs> this is a very quick like rundown, but there's so many books and I could talk for ages about every single one of them. So I have to be concise. <laughs> the next five star is The Six Man by David Baldacci. Um, this again is a mystery book. This is the mystery book of June um, and I loved it. It's a thriller, it's the fifth from the uh, King and Maxwell like series, but I haven't read the others. You don't have to read the others. It's perfectly fine as a standalone. Um, it's just like a detective story, a thriller. The plot is fantastic. You love it, at least I loved it, so. And the last five stars that I've gave so far this year, let's not jinx it. Um, <laughs> The last one I gave five stars is Becoming by Michelle Obama. This is a memoir uh, written by Miss Obama and it's just, I loved it. It's so good. I'm going to talk about this in the uh, July wrap up video, but it's just, I loved it. Fully, fully recommend. Such a good book. And the narration again, I'm a sucker for good narration. So definitely check it out if you want to. So. This was my last five star book that I've given this year so far because there's still a long way to go and I have hopes for a lot more to come. Um, yeah, so now let me tell you about the worst books I've read this year. <laughs> I have four books that I've given one star because they were just appalling. I didn't like anything about them. So let me tell you all about them. Let's go. Once again, we'll go in chronological order and a light speed because I hated them so much, I don't even want to talk about them. <laughs> the first one is You're Not Old, You're Just Not That Young by Harvey Little. This is basically a collection of quotes and just like things you'd put in a Facebook post if you're over the age of 50. But I, I mean that in the worst way possible. There are some good posts on Facebook, but this isn't it. It's just terrible book, would never recommend, waste of money, don't buy it. Second one star book was Because I Love You by Alice Joyce Davidson. Um, this is a series of poems and this wasn't terrible. Like I, I'm sure a lot of people will love it, but all of the poems were with a religious undertone to them or overtone because some of them just punch you in the face with that religion. But I'm just not a religious person. This isn't for me, but this is a book that a lot of people might enjoy if they like religion. Well, if they're into religion. I don't know how you say that, but it was just not for me. I'm sure a lot of people might like it, but this is the second one star. Then we have Wife's Night Out by Sandy Leslie. 
another one star. <laughs> the amount of times they refer to a man's penis as a pecker and none of these characters have any personality at all. It's like reading very, very, very bad smut. So don't recommend. It's a very old book as well, like very old. So I'm kind of happy people would have to struggle to find this because this isn't the kind of book you would want to stumble upon. So throw it away, don't read it. And the last one star of the year is uh, Television Was a Baby Crawling Toward That Death Chamber by Allen Ginsberg. It's a Penguin Modern. Um, I talked about this in my Penguin Modern quest. Um, you can check it out, but it's just so bad. It's a collection of poems and they make no sense. It's like gibberish for most of the time. It's just bad. I, for me, again. All the opinions are mine. Don't judge me like I judge these books. That is like the key here. But yeah, these are... Th this was bad. I hated every single poem from here, but it was part of the Penguin Modern and I'm not going to like all of them. So this was the one star. So that was it. Those were the worst books and the best books. Um, please check out the best books. Uh, you can also check out the bad ones, though I would not recommend because I hated them. So if you also hate them, don't come after me. I told you so. Like, fully be aware what you're stepping into. Um, but yeah, this was it. This was a very short video because I hope this was a very short video because sometimes I just ramble and ramble and ramble but I want this to be a short video um, just to keep myself accountable, see all my progress and kind of praise myself for my achievements because I just feel so happy with myself <laughs> like it's good to praise yourself that's a very narcissistic thing to say but do it once in a while. I'm sure it'll make you feel fantastic. Um, <laughs> and that was it. I read 52 books this year so far. Again, so proud of myself. So unbelievable. Also, if you only read one book a year, that's already fantastic. I fully believe that. Like, reading books just for the number ain't it. If you don't feel passionate about the book, let it go. If you... Um, want to read something that isn't necessarily like a classic or a memoir or just pretentious books like people would say don't just read for fun and I promise there is a book for everyone like 100% there is you if you don't like reading maybe it's just because you didn't like the book you can start with comics uh, graphic novels there's so many options uh, I fully believe that audiobooks are also consider reading because you still get all the information so don't let anyone tell you otherwise and yeah this was my um, mid-year freak out tag and I am kind of freaking out because I'm just so amazed at myself and so proud I'm so proud um, so this was me please tell me what you read this year um, I'm so excited to hear what other people read also what do you plan on reading for the rest of the year I have so many books. Um, I do want to progress with my books I want to finish this year, even if I don't complete it. I want to finish reading Republic by Plato, even though that feels more like a, an autumnal book for me, because I cannot stand those people in the summer. Um, so we'll leave that for the autumn. And I want to finish reading Melmoth the Wanderer by Charles Robert Maturin and Portrait of a Young Artist and Wintering Heights. Maybe, even though I absolutely hated them so far, but once again, those feel more like autumnal books, so we'll leave them for the autumn and we'll see how the rest goes. So yeah, this was me. If you like this, please give it a like, please comment, please, I love when people comment, I just love hearing other people's opinion because I typically only listen to mine so um, please tell me what you're reading and please consider subscribing also I have another channel where I play sims so if you're into that please consider subscribing I would love to have you there and I'll see you next time bye I just give the earth my soul hear my thoughts bounce off the walls